Hi, uh, this video tutorial I will cover uh, interpreter design pattern implementation. Uh, before you watch this video tutorial, please log into my channel and watch uh, interpreter design pattern introduction, interpreter design pattern uh, real time example, uh, and uh, interpreter design pattern class diagram video tutorials. Then come and watch this tutorial so that you will understand this tutorial very clearly. Okay. Uh, now we will see the scenario where we can use the interpreter design pattern. Uh, here you can see the context. Uh, context has the data which we want to interpret. So in this case, uh, context has uh, date. Okay. And uh, here you can see uh, different uh, date expressions. Uh, month, date and year. Uh, date, month and year. Year, month and date. Uh, date and year. Okay. So these are all uh, different expressions. Uh, suppose if you want to uh, convert date to the specific uh, expression or the format uh, then you have to pass this uh, expression to the interpret along with the context okay so what this interpreter will do is uh, it will uh, uh, take uh, date from the context and it will convert to the uh, specific format using the expression okay so you can see the output uh, it came uh, uh, month uh, date and year and uh, date month and year year month and date and date and year okay so interpreter has uh, the logic uh, which will uh, take uh, data from the context and interpret and produce the output which uh, user can uh, uh, read properly okay uh, now we'll see the class diagram of uh, this scenario uh, this is the class diagram of the scenario which we have uh, just discussed. Uh, here you can see the context. Uh, context is the data which you want to interpret. So in this case, uh, the data is nothing but a date. Okay. And in which format we want to interpret the date. That is nothing but an expression. Okay. And uh, here uh, you can see the abstract expression, uh, which is the uh, interface and it has uh, evaluate uh, method which is uh, abstract method uh, that evaluate method accept the context uh, object okay and uh, this abstract expression is uh, implemented by three concrete classes the first one is uh, day expression the second one is year expression and the third one is uh, month expression so all these uh, concrete classes uh, provide implementation of uh, evaluate method okay uh, so here you can see the expression uh, mmddyy uh, to replace the month value uh, we have uh, month expression and uh, to replace the uh, date value we have uh, day expression to replace the year value we have uh, year expression okay so uh, the evaluate method of uh, month expression what it will do is it will uh, uh, get the date object from the context and uh, from the date object it will get the month and it will uh, replace mm with the original month okay so like that uh, year expression it will uh, get a date object from the context from the date object it will get the year value and it will replace uh, uh, y, 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 y with uh, original uh, year okay uh, and here you can see the client uh, which has uh, main method and uh, this class is used to ex uh, explain this uh, interpreter design pattern. Okay, I will open Eclipse and I will show you the code so that you will understand very clearly. Uh, I have opened Eclipse. Uh, now we will see the code. Uh, here you can see the context. Uh, context has the data which we want to interpret. So in this case, uh, uh, we want to interpret the date. So we have the date object here. Okay, and in which format we want to interpret? That is nothing but the expression. That is also defined here and uh, here you can see the abstract expression and it has abstract method uh, evaluate uh, here you have to pass the context object and day expression month expression and year expression uh, which is a concrete classes uh, which extends uh, abstract expression and provide implementation of uh, evaluate method okay so here you can see the day expression uh, which extends uh, abstract expression and uh, provide implementation of uh, evaluate method so what this method does is uh, it will get the date from the context and uh, from the date it will identify the day and it will uh, replace uh, dd part with the date okay so like that uh, month expression uh, which also extends uh, 
abstract expression and provide implementation of uh, evaluate method. So what this method does is uh, it will get the date from the context and from the date object it will identify the month and it will replace the mm part with the uh, original month value. Uh, next class is here expression uh, which also extends abstract expression and provide implementation of uh, evaluate method. So what this method does is uh, it will get the date object from the context and from the date object it will get the year and uh, it replaces the year part with the original uh, year value okay and uh, next one is uh, client class it has uh, main method so here what i'm doing is uh, i'm asking uh, the user which format you want to convert okay so i'm getting that uh, format and based on that i am uh, preparing a expression order list uh, so based on the expression order list uh, each expression object will uh, evaluate the context and produce the proper uh, output okay so i will run this uh, code and i will show you the output so it is asking uh, which expression uh, you want so i am selecting mmddyy okay uh, so here you can see input is uh, mmddyy and this is the date value okay so first month expression is evaluated so you can see 2 okay and remaining ddyy is still there then uh, next uh, day part is uh, evaluated so now uh, dd is gone and uh, 8 is uh, put here and uh, next year expression is uh, evaluated okay so this is the final output So I will run one more time and I will show you uh, the output. So this time I am selecting YYMMDD. So input uh, YYMMDD and the date and first year expression is evaluated next uh, month expression is evaluated uh, next day expression is evaluated so this is the final output okay so this is a very good example of uh, interpreted design pattern and uh, this is about uh, interpreted design pattern implementation thanks for watching bye